I love it because it, it teaches me how to be confident. Taiba is an oasis of paradise. Everything about Taiba is just wow and super. It teaches kids to express creativity, not only in arts but in sciences. They discipline us using words instead of using physical contact. Oh, Taiba, oh, Taiba, oh, Taiba, in pride we rise with rules of my name is Amariam Loyombo and I'm the founder of the Taiba International Schools. An imposing structure in Kawempetula stands at the spot where a modest house once was. It is here that the idea of a formidable investment in education, the Taiba International Schools, was born and nurtured in 1991. My husband had built it uh, many years ago. It was a three-bedroom house. And uh, I suggested to him that we could actually start in the three-bedroom house. And that was enough infrastructure. So uh, that's, what, that's where we started. Um, and he had a few other resources, so we pulled everything together. And, um, and, and that's how we started. The idea was launched with a privately owned girls boarding school, one of the few at the time in Kampala. Uh, the, the first of the Taiba schools, which was Taiba High School, it came from um, seeing that there were actually no places for girls, especially at the time. Right from the start, the goal was to bring a new and innovative approach to providing education within the Taiba school system, resounding with their slogan, Education with a Difference. They adopted an open approach to admission by giving every student an equal chance to explore their learning potential. Now, my belief as a professional teacher is that every child across that spectrum deserves an education. You cannot crucify a 12-year-old and say, sorry, you're not good enough. So our job is to teach everybody to the best of their ability. Proof of the effectiveness of their approach was first put to the test in their first national examination. Our first sitting for senior four, we did very well, but we had sat at, at a different school because we had not got a, a centre number. But then the second sitting, we sat at our centre number, and then we showed up in the best 50 schools. That was a, a big jump start because then people noticed that we actually existed, that we didn't take the best grades, but we had been able to turn them around. The success of the girls' high school, as well as the experience acquired, led to the realisation that parents yearned for a school that would support their busy schedule and balance the demands of their careers without compromising their children's education and care. That gave birth to a unique primary boarding school. This idea was championed by Pert Langford, a British educationist who had served the school as a consultant. The idea of the weekly boarding came from Pert Langford, who later became the head teacher of Taiba International School Primary, the first head teacher. Uh, he had worked with me as a consultant for a bit. He was a British man, uh, very, very skilled in education. So he said, I, I, I told him I wasn't very comfortable with the idea of boarding school for little children. And he says, but our environment and where you're going to put the school, I don't see how it is going to work. Uh, but we can do halfway and do a weekly boarding school, which means children stay with us from Monday to Friday and they can go home for family fellowship over the weekend. And I liked that idea. And so I said, you know what, we're going to start the first weekly boarding school in the country. Set up in 1998, Taiba International Primary School is now celebrating 20 years. <laughs> Judith Musisi is one of the pioneer teachers with the experience garnered over the past 20 years, Musisi is now the head teacher of the school. We wanted to start a school that would focus on the child, the individual child, not the group. We wanted a school that would look out for each child, their strength, their weaknesses, their abilities, 
and focus at the best they can, we could get out of a particular child. Is that okay? Yes. Right from the onset, Taiba Jr. focused on making the learning experience positive for every child. Is that okay? Yes. Just give me a sentence. The process started with training and reorienting teachers to an approach that emphasizes the child as the center of learning. Oscar Semwea is the principal of Taiba International Schools. With a 30-year experience as an educationist, he joined Taiba in 2000 from the UK as the first head teacher of Taiba College School. He emphasizes the importance of continuous teacher training. We have our own uh, continuous professional development course. We've developed this course and it takes about two and a half years and then we graduate and that's what enables us to have good teachers consistently. A lot of value is placed on small classroom sizes where each pupil's individual needs can be identified and addressed. A child who goes through Taiba should live equipped with the five C's, which are confidence, creativity, critical thinking, communication, and concern for the community. Staying ahead with the times, Taiba Jr. was keen to provide an all-round education. From the conventional teaching in well-set-up classroom environment, the early exposure to technological advancements, skills-based learning, outdoor experiential learning, to the creative arts, aspects that stimulate pupils' intellect and creativity. And I came here in primary two, and I was very, very shy, and I was just a confused girl. But Taiba International School has groomed me in what I am today. What you see here is a green shirt which symbolizes for a prefect and I am a house speaker. At Taiba, the aspect of children welfare is of paramount importance. Right from the homely design of the school structures, the impeccably neat comfortable accommodation, the caregivers who are always on hand to attend to the needs of the young children, the prompt basic health care, to a suitable balanced diet, the perfect home away from home setting. I love Taiba because it grooms us to who we are now and who we are going to be. We eat healthy foods. This is really a home away from home. The metro take care of us and they give the and they give us nice food and they take care of us well. All work and no play make Jack a dull boy. So the culture of sports in which every child has a chance to participate has existed since the inception of the school. Regular participation in a sport of choice helps the children to not only stay fit, but also exposes them to opportunity to explore and exploit their potential as future sports stars. We not only focus on academics, but we also focus on extracurricular activities. Those extracurricular activities can help us improve our talents. An aerial view of Taiba International Secondary School. Started in 2000 as Taiba College School, the facility changed its name in 2012 during the institution's grand rebranding that also saw Taiba Junior become Taiba Junior International School. The need to establish a mixed boarding secondary school arose from not only the need to prepare for children who were soon to complete primary level at the junior school, but also popular request by parents to maintain the education foundation set for their children. Because when we opened the, the primary school, it had boys and girls. And now the, the parents said, you know, we, we, our children have had a great education here. We would like to continue in this in, 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 in the system. And so that's why we started the secondary school on the other side, on Entebbe Road. Uh, and, and that housed both boys and, and girls. In keeping with the tradition of Taiba schools, the secondary school availed a chance for students to board at the school or study by day in a quiet, serene environment away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Taiba is an amazing school with such an extraordinary natural environment. Um, it has beautiful trees and it just makes you feel warm at, and at home. Annette Nanyonjo, the head teacher of Taiba International Secondary School, has been teaching in the Taiba schools for 20 years. 
She rose through the ranks to become head teacher in 2008. Our philosophy says we must have a clean, safe and secure, happy environment. So we try to make sure children are happy. Academics has nothing to do with uh, understanding should be through torture, should be through digging up and hills, no. Just like at Tiber Junior, students who come to attend their secondary education at Tiber College are guaranteed of a renowned model of education which instills leadership and self-responsibility while stimulating the students to excel in disciplines they are good at. I have gained more confidence. I have become more creative in everything I do. And on the academic front, I am the academic um, giant in our class. By the age of 15, I was directing a play at the National Theatre. It gave me confidence, critical thinking. I never used to do art, but right now I'm one of the top students in my class in art. And I love this because it showed me a side that I never thought I had. In both the junior and secondary sections, students and pupils have a choice between the Ugandan curriculum and the Cambridge International Curriculum. Adopted in 2008, the system prepares them to fit in the global setup. We offer both, and because our teachers have got um, a perspective of both curriculum, we are able to cross, uh, cross breed, and, and so even the children that are doing UNEB are able to benefit from the teachers that teach Cambridge. So that's, that's what's going on. But it's about giving people choice. Um, uh. Tiber International Schools have deeply adapted to the demands of technological innovations in the classroom. Today, the school ranks among top education institutions in the country that have keenly embraced ICT. We've been able to educate students that a laptop uh, and a lot of this technology is not for entertainment. It is for research and presentation of your work. And a lot of students do that. They have study guides, they have uh, notes, they have materials on, on their laptops, and we taught them how to manage uh, such gadgets. For example, you have to sign out your laptop and hand it back in. Undoubtedly, realization of their slogan, education with a difference, is attained through various ways. From student to student peer learning, where students lead classes, the practical teaching that prepares students for entering to the job market as job creators. To the performing arts, which exposes students to talent exploration preparation for entry into the bustling world of entertainment. Through many sporting disciplines made available to the students at Tiber International Secondary School, a sporting environment thrives that nurtures healthy and competitive young adults, indisputably the future sporting stars. <laughs> Nourishing spiritual development and growth is the heart of the belief of the founders of the Tiber International Schools. A multi-denominational approach to faith caters for the various religious inclinations of students that attend the schools. It is Friday at Taiba International School Primary. Children adhering to the Islamic faith need not go far to attend their Juma prayers. On Sunday, Christian prayers are arranged according to various Christian leanings, catering for Catholics, the born agains and Protestant students. The fruits of years of delivering education with a difference are all the parent. In politics, Honorable Taban Idi Amin, an alumni of the school, is a legislator in Uganda's parliament. For me, Taiba it's a, it's a journey of life in Uganda for me because uh, if I can speak today before any crowd, if I can convince people, I can give speeches. The foundation was laid from Taiba School. In the medical profession, Habat Arika, a practicing medical doctor at Mulago Hospital, is completing masters in surgery to join the limited number of surgeons in a population that badly needs highly specialized health professionals. 
think Taiba really, really, without it, I wouldn't be where I am. They taught me self-discipline and sacrifice. So I think, and also the fact that they believe that there should be no limits on what you could do. Because you could be good in sports, they will also encourage you to read your books. So I think it made us well-rounded individuals in that way. Madina Mugenyi went through the Taiba school system as a student. And as a professional teacher, she now serves as the head teacher of the youngest addition to the Taiba brand, Kawempe Taiba Junior School. The discipline, the love for the teachers, the care for the teachers, the education system, you feel this is what it should be. So you love it here. What I went through is what I'm taking these children through. What I saw my teachers go through is what I'm putting in these teachers. Alan Kasuja, a resourceful marketer for a firefighting equipment retailer, owes his confidence and competence, so valuable for his profession, to the years spent at Tiber International School. What I am partly today, it's basically because of the good foundation that Tiber gave me. Yes, the fact that I can write very well, I can speak very well, I have the confidence. Yes, so I'll definitely take my child to Taiba so that they get that touch that I also got. Akram Lutaya, a young entrepreneur, is trying his hand at branding. His business acumen was inspired by exposure through work experience gained when still a student at Taiba International School. The creativity, the critical thinking, the confidence, that's why we are entering into business when we are still young. He goes by the stage name Caesarius, a young, talented Taiba alumni who attributes his success in the music career to Taiba's background. His hits and performances have won him many accolades. Caesarius is one of the numerous entertainers who have gone through Taiba to make it big on the entertainment stage. It actually did a very big contribution for me because, you know, they gave us the opportunity to get affiliated with instruments and even they allowed us to initiate ourselves to you know different uh, ventures like the talent shows, music, dance and drama competitions within and even outside the school. So yeah, it was good for me to learn the basics from there. Uh, the last announcement. No doubt, over two decades of imparting education with a difference to thousands of people that have gone through Tiber School is in many ways no mean achievement worth celebrating. Yes, uh, we have a cause to celebrate. We, we have turned out a lot of students. We have given them our very best. We have actually uh, given them a well-rounded education in, in the actual sense of what that phrase means.